This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> Cut to the helicopter ride! Hey, I'm not paying for the Chinese food, by the way. I only paid for the helicopter ride. <laughs> I don't know how they can hear themselves over the helicopter noise. <laughs> what dad doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> I relate to Yumiko more and more every time I see her. Look, when your classmate gives you four free tickets on a helicopter ride, you take it up. You take them up on it, unless you have a crippling fear of helicopters. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna see an explosion soon. That'll get your attention. Oh, that's gonna cool. be the explosion. <laughs> Do you think we should have told Rabbit that we each used one keg? <laughs> Whoa! That's a big explosion! A brief flash of light. Unlike an aerial bombing, there's no brilliant burst of flame to accompany the powerful sound of the blast. A pretty plain explosion, as these things go. The school building where I've spent the last three months of my life, and Sachi nearly a year of hers, crumble noisily before our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Since when does a valentine need gunpowder? <laughs> Never have those words been more relevant. <laughs> yeah, it was Mihama Academy, at least. We just got rid of it, along with that test. <laughs> Plastic explosives. The bomb. Modern Japanese architecture is world famous for its strict building codes and sturdy engineering, you know. Demolishing even a modest-sized structure requires a lot of detailed calculations, and boring into the supporting columns is a pretty involved process. Just getting the necessary amount of explosives ready was a real challenge. Anyway, with the building itself gone, the school won't be up and running anytime soon. That test isn't going to happen. In fact, I expect that it's going to be the last thing on anyone's mind for a while. Now, I wonder who who the main suspect in this bombing will be. Well, gee, there are only six people at this school, and four of them are conveniently on a helicopter ride. That leaves only two suspects left. We're totally going to get away with this. <laughs> Sachi responds vaguely to my explanation, her tone absent-minded. The words seem to have left her mouth out of reflex. 
Her attention is clearly glued to the building below, or what's left of it, anyway. There were plenty of other formalities and preparations involved as well. Considering all that time that it, that it took to set this up, it sure disappeared pretty quickly. So... this man... Something wrong? This is what you wanted, right? <laughs> yeah, this ain't gonna go well. And now we're all homeless! Yuji's still like, don't care. We've accomplished this. Apparently unable to grasp her own emotions, Sachi continues to stare down at the rubble that was once her school, her face blank with confusion. Can't understand where that's coming from, huh? Yeah? Nobody's going to say, Oh, thank you for blowing up the school. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, very true. Oh, the dorm is still standing. It's just, it's away from the school. Yeah, but are we really going to be allowed to stay there if, oh, I don't know. We blew up the school! <laughs> well, I guess that's not surprising. I mean, apparently we got permission from the principal to do it. Somehow! <laughs> You've never felt uncertainty about what you're do about doing what you're told, have you? Never felt it was necessary to even consider how obeying an order makes you feel. Put a hand on your cheek. Sachi obediently brings a hand to her cheek, and her fingers brush against a small stream of tears. The girl wasn't even aware that she was crying. Her confusion only deepening, Sachi looks up at me with a face full of pure bewilderment. You may not be conscious of it yet, but a part of you already knows the answer to that question. What was that place? And? Specifically, what sorts of things? Never forget the hilarious English class. Oh yeah, that was uncomfortable. Anything else come to mind? That was really uncomfortable. That was not slightly naughty, by the way. <laughs> so you spend a lot of time there. What sort of memories are those? I'm gonna regret allowing that word, aren't I? But you know what? For this stream, whatever. That's a, that's a bad misread, yeah. とても受け入れてくれました。道ちるさまは私のことを必要としてくれました。マキちゃんは私のことを一番の友達だと言ってくれました。天音さんは私にたくさんのことを教えてくれました。Probably one of those streams you shouldn't have learned from her. Sakaki-san The words begin to flow smoothly. Naturally. Sachi no longer needs my questions to guide her. As she begins to understand the meaning of her tears, her honest feelings come pouring out of her mouth. Oh, 
私にとっての美浜学園です。That a fact? はい。Is that a thing for anime protagonists and VN protagonists to just always say that a fact? Because Tomoya definitely did that. I'm pretty sure the DDLC guy did that as well. Right. And you just destroyed that special place with your own hands. Whoops! Did you not realize that until now? Oh, yeah, yeah, Sachi, you just blew that place up. With my help, but I'm not admitting to that. <laughs> Since your 10th birthday, you've been clinging persistently to a single idea, telling yourself it's the one and only answer. Do what you're told. Be a good girl. Never disobey. And your stubborn adherence to that simplistic rule brought you to this moment. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> she is getting very emotional. Yuji just has this plastic look on his face. It's like he's wearing a mask. Or he actually is a robot. Remember what you said to me just a few minutes ago? You told me that being a good girl is what allows you to be yourself. That it's the only way to ensure your happiness. Sorry, but you were wrong. That is not how this works. Sure, an intelligent, pathologically helpful honor student will probably make plenty of friends anywhere they go. You're so useful to have around, most people probably treated you nicely enough for their own convenience. And when they realized that wh what you were carrying... When you were no longer of any use to them, I guess they abandoned you quickly enough. That sort always will. But how about the people in this school? You think they're the same way? <laughs> Do you really believe Michiru and Makina think of you as nothing but their personal lackey? Do you really believe they'd abandon a friend for failing to carry out a single order? <laughs> That's right. You've been so afraid of losing something that you couldn't even see what you had. You've been going through life curled up in a shell, both eyes squeezed shut. In exchange for your brittle happiness, you've lost sight of what's around you. You've lost something you didn't even know you had. That's what I wanted you to realize. Yeah. You know, human beings may be the smartest animals currently strutting around the Earth. But that doesn't mean we're the wisest, and we ain't animals, bro. No matter how much we learn or how advanced our civilization becomes, we're still complete idiots about the simplest things. When it comes right down to it, we don't realize how precious anything is until we lose it. I might be giving you a pretty pompous lecture right now, but I'm no exception to that rule myself. Yeah. There was a reason I couldn't promise to play with you on your birthday. My sister had died in an accident. And with her gone, my family crumbled in on itself like a house of cards. I'm the only one who got through it alive. Whoa, both his parents died too? Whoa, boy. I mean, I guess that makes sense, because he got raised by a random woman named Asako. Of course you didn't. I never told you. Not entirely. I also wanted you to I also wanted to learn something about you. Yeah. There was a time when you could have asked me for anything, and all you requested was my praise. That's the one thing I've never really understood. But after hearing your feelings just now, I think I finally found my answer. I turn Saji toward me and softly rest my hand on her head. It's been a long and lonely road, hasn't it? You did good, Saji. You really did. Well, I mean, she tried to burn the school down, and she actually blew the school up, so did she? <laughs> Speaking in the gentlest tone of voice I can manage, I affectionately ruffle Saji's hair. 
Her eyes open wide as saucers, and in the next moment, fat tears are running down her face. <laughs> you were waiting to hear those words, weren't you? Utterly lost, overwhelmed by pain, sadness, and confusion, waiting for someone to show her the way forward. Waiting for someone to see the crushing guilt she carried. To know the punishment she levied on herself every moment of every day, and to tell her, you've done enough. So, <laughs> それ I see. Then I suppose I'm the only one who can tell you this now. You don't have to be a good girl anymore. I understand your feelings. I understand how hard you've tried. You've done more than enough. You can rest now. Is this the end of the route? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Tenth birthday, a day that should have been full of happy memories, ended in unimaginable tragedy. Ever since, Sachi's lived a half-life, bound tightly by the irrational guilt of a child, until this moment. The good girl she never truly was, the role she forced herself to play all this time, evaporates with her tears into the warm night. All this time she suffered quietly, locking, lo locking her constant fear and pain somewhere out of sight. Nobody can erase these years, or the mark that they've left on her. And nobody can undo the accident that ruined her life. There's one and only one thing I can do for Sachi right now. Hold her shaking body in my arms until her tears run dry. Oh, there's still a lot of the root left? Oh boy. Oh boy. Right. When she's cried her fill, Saji firmly wipes her cheeks dry and raises her head from its resting place against my chest. Never see G. Nothing to worry about. A girl's tear-stained face is a special privilege reserved for her boyfriend. I did just blow up a school for you, remember? I don't think it's too much to ask. Don't smile while saying that. Yeah, we did. Probably going to cause Sakaki and company a lot of trouble. Not to mention everyone who works there. Don't forget about Yumiko's dad, who literally is the one who owns the school. As she finally realizes the potential for collateral damage involved with this little show, the color drains from Sachi's face, even though she still has a smile on her face in the CG. Don't worry about them. They're in a safe place. An expression of pure relief spreading across her face, Sachi brings a hand to her chest as if to slow the fr frantic beating of her heart. 
It's a simple, earnest gesture, one that speaks volumes about her feelings toward her our classmates. No! What, Sachi? Okay, well, she, apparently she's not completely fixed now. Which, that makes sense. That would be unreasonable if she was. That would kind of make this whole thing pointless, don't you think? It feels like it's been an awfully long time since I've had one of those distinctive pure Sachi moments. That brings me to a slight sense of relief. Somehow it makes me feel like all this wasn't a waste of effort on my part. Well, we can't exactly go put the school back together again, but... Like I told you before, I spent some time on the planning phase here, and a big part of that was figuring out how to keep the damage and fuss to a minimum. For this game, I'll allow the word asshole. For backyard baseball, heck no. <laughs> yeah, I guess we've got to thank Chizuru and JB for that one. Yeah, I, that's the most unbelievable thing, that we got permission from all these people to blow up the school. When we entered the principal's office, didn't you notice that most of the books and documents were missing? Well, I guess you had other things to worry about at the time. But in any case, yeah, I got myself in some pretty serious debt to make this happen. <laughs> we saved everyone but the janitor, Grumpy Grizz. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Well, let's see. Even if I worked for the rest of my life for free, I doubt I'd be able to pay this one back. Handle this sort of thing wrong, and then there's a possibility I end up getting disposed of through an accidental death. Wow! You need to get a better janitor job, buddy. From what I've seen, that was the only way I'd get through to you. You needed to fail for success. If all I wanted to, was to get rid of that test, I could have just asked Chizuru. <sighs> don't worry, Florin, it's fine. It's an M-rated game. I don't mind if people use the word asshole in chat. And if you if you use a strong word and I don't allow, I Twitch should just hold in and be like, do you want to allow this word? And I can just say, nope. So, no worries. Exactly the reason I had to blow up the school instead. N you really, you, you really didn't. Sachi draws a sharp little breath and looks away, a tinge of sadness and guilt in her eyes. You know, Sachi, a little while ago, I said that you were wrong to think of being a good girl would protect your happiness. But to be honest, I can't say your way of thinking was entirely mistaken. As a kid, you struggled desperately to find that answer. It got you back on your feet. You fought hard all this time, living by that belief, and eventually you found people who understand you and care about you. You found what you were looking for. That's not a way of life you need to be ashamed of. But there's one important thing to keep in mind. You can't allow yourself to lose sight of what you're trying to protect. Yeah. No one's asking you to change who you are. You're probably going to keep on being a pretty good kid, and that means people are going to keep asking you for favors. And that's fine. All you need to do is think over every request individually. Think about what they're asking you and why. Think about whether it's reasonable. Think about the consequences of saying yes and then accept or decline. I know you're able to think of making I know you're capable of making these decisions for yourself, Sachi. But if your confidence ever wavers, come to me and we'll, we'll talk it over together. I'll rack my brains with you until we can make up your mind one way or the other. There's not much else I can do, but I'll always be there to listen. Understand. Come to think of it, I did ask something like that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, if the Dean is anything like the Dean of Greendale, then this is probably par for the course for him. <laughs> what in the world just happened here? <laughs> Paintball. Oh, okay. I see. So I guess that would explain the regular meeting Sakaki mentioned the other day. Hmm. Why ask me? Probably faster to ask your heart. Or hormones if you're feeling pragmatic. Heart, not hormones. Hormones deal with lust, heart deals with love. Actually, you could argue the heart deals with lust as well, and the spirit deals with love. What makes you think that? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hold the, the parade. Are we still doing the school festival tomorrow, or like the opening ceremony when the school is dilapidated? <laughs> Flushing an unusually vivid shade of red, she looks exactly the same as the rest of the CG. Sachi smiles up at me. Among all of the expressions I've seen on her face these past few months, I think this might just be the single most natural. And the happiest. I see. Pausing briefly, Sachi closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. Are we sure this isn't the end of the route? This seems very much like it's the end of the route. She speaks her feelings plainly and directly, the smile never leaving her face. Plot twist. In the censored version, it ends here. But in the uncensored version, it's just crazy amounts of sex afterwards. Which, thank you for, uh, yes, I would like to skip that, please. It's almost like I'm looking at a memory of the Sachi I knew as a child. There's a slightly enjoyable tickle of embarrassment in my chest. Well, seems I managed to win the girl over somehow, but this one gives as good as she gets. I came up with a lot of pretty decent justifications for trying to help her. Repaying the kindness she showed me as a child, discovering the meaning of my master's words, etc., etc. But to be honest, it's a lot less complicated than that. I've been slowly but surely falling in love with Sachi for a while now. You want the girl to love, that you love, to be smiling. When something's making her suffer, you want to get rid of it. That's really all there was to it. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, I forgot that this is... <laughs> forgot it's not just an internal monologue. Hmm? But your anxious face isn't half bad, Ivor. Don't get sulky. You're going to have to put up with this sort of thing on a regular basis from now on. Of course. If my pomposity has finally set off some warning bells, you can withdraw your candidacy before it's too late. Breaking into an ear-to-ear -ear grin, she throws herself forward against my chest. Aww. Something about the pleasant warmth of her body brings the vague feelings I've been carrying all this time into sharp focus. We don't get a CG of her glomping us. Aw. I don't see the problem. This isn't a race. How long it took you to see what you were missing isn't important. What really matters is how clearly you understand where you went wrong, and how well you make use of that knowledge from now on. Can't take you the credit. I'm quoting someone who helped me find my own way in life. A while ago now. The hell's that supposed to mean? Nice to hear. I'll have to take Sachi's word for it, though. I really don't remember doing that much for her. But even if I'm not half the person my master was, I left a mark on Sachi's heart back then. 
And maybe, in helping her now, I've managed to pay off some small part of the debt of gratitude I owe to Asako. Sorry, what does that mean? I see. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Selfish. The words are barely out of Sachi's mouth before she brings her face to mine. This it's kind of a weird looking CG. That that I know it's like her supposed to be leaning in for a kiss, but it it looks a little off. Just like that, she softly kisses me. For the first time, I feel the warmth of her lips against mine. A long, gentle kiss, as if to affirm our mutual feelings. We, we hadn't kissed on the lips yet? We've had sex, but we haven't kissed on the lips yet? What? As I savor that simple pleasure, I wrap my arms firmly around Sachi, pulling the weight of her body against me. Okay, we don't need a long makeout session. As, uh, for a long moment, Sachi closes her eyes and focuses entirely on the movement of her lips. When she finally pulls back to draw her breath, her mouth leaves mine with palpable reluctance. Yeah, same to you, kid. That a fact. I think they mentioned it, but they mentioned it a while ago, and I just assumed that it had happened since then. If they if they went to the step of sex, I don't understand why they wouldn't have already kissed. That doesn't make sense. Oh, let's hear it then. Do we have to talk about this? Nice work, as always. <laughs> I'm waiting for the others to come back and just be like, WHAT THE HECK HAPPENED TO THE SCHOOL?! With an amused smile and a word of thanks, Sachi offers me a polite little bow. I've heard the same many times before, but now I fully understand just how much I care about the girl. The sincere gratitude in her voice inspires a wave of happiness that takes me by surprise in its intensity. <laughs> You sure do ask a lot, don't you? Yeah, I'll strengthen my resolve. So Sachi can smile like this after all. I love you, Sachi. <laughs> Back to the weird CG. For the first time, I tell her exactly how I feel, and immediately thereafter, I bring my lips to hers. It looks like she's like, ah, no, I don't want that. Being loved by someone, and loving them in return. A basic human experience, normal healthy emotions, uncomplicated happiness, the sort of thing I thought I'd lost forever a long time ago. But it seems the life I've led wasn't enough to permanently erase that part of me. I finally found it again. Savoring the pleasure of our simultaneous physical and emotional connection, we lie there for some time, enjoying the warmth of each other's bodies. Okay! That was a long scene. <laughs> well, as amazing as that one-liner is right there, uh, we're gonna save and end the stream there. I don't, I don't really want to go a whole lot longer than that, and that seems just like the perfect breakpoint. It took us like an hour or two to get to that. For, that was a lulled seed of Boyd up the school, so... Whew. Yeah, that seems like a good spot to end. Thanks for watching, everybody! Hope you enjoyed it. That was definitely a more enjoyable stream than last time. I like the story. I, 
I'm going to trust Twitch chat on this and assume that we do still have a good amount of the root left and that we're not literally right at the end. Because that would suck if it's like, all right, next week I start streaming this again. Oh, like 15 minutes later, we get the ending. That would that would kind of suck. Anyhow, hope you have a great rest of your weekend, everybody, and God bless.